Now we can here add to the cart. Look, we can add to the cart. But we have an issue here. If we close our app and open it again, where is what we have been added? The, our cart is empty. Look, let's add again and see and close our app and open it again. Look, the cart is empty. The number of items is zero. So we need to persist our state because when I add something to the cart and close the app and open it again, when I open the cart, I able to see our, my items and my items are not be removed. Okay. To do this, we're going to use Redux persist. So in our terminal, let's install this beautiful package. Yarn add Redux persist. With Redux persist, we need also to install async storage. So let's install async storage. Yarn add React Native Async Storage. You can get it from the link in description. Okay. Now let's go to our store here inside our store. Let's open our store and make some changes here to able to persist our state. First, we're going to import our storage from React Native Async Storage. Okay. Then we're going to import two things from Redux persist. Those two things are persist store and persist reducer. Okay. That's to persist our store and that's to persist our reducer. Okay. Now let's create our configuration. Const persist config. In this object, you can tell Redux persist which thing do you want to persist. Okay. First, we give it a key. Let's call it root. Then we give it a storage. You can pick any storage you want. Here we are using async storage. So we can select that storage. And since we're using ES6, we can delete that. Okay. And let's add our version. Let's make it one. Our next step to create our persist reducer. So let's add a constant called persist reducer equals to persist reducer let's make this persisted okay and we just add our configurations and our slice or cart reducer okay here in the second parameter or second argument our last step here to export our persister just let's export const persister because we're gonna wrap it inside app.tsx equals to persist reducer and we're gonna put inside it our store sorry for that persist store not persist reducer persist store okay let's press save we got an error here async storage oh i know if you're using Android, you'll not notice that error. But uh, we forgot a very important step in iOS and that step is installing the bot. So let's install our bot. You can make it like that. NBX bot install. I'm happy because I'm facing those errors in the lessons. So you can fix them with me. After we have done with our bots, let's yarn iOS again. Let's run our app again. Our last step here, just replace this cart reducer with our persisted reducer. Okay, now let's press save. Don't worry, when we rerun the app, this, uh, this error is going to be gone. Now let's go to app.tsx and wrap our code inside our persister. So let's import our persistor gate, our persist gate. You can import it from Redux persist integration react. Okay. Let's format our code and inside this persistor gate, just add our persistor that we exported here, that persistor. So let's copy it and paste it here. And just don't forget to import it from our store. Now let's press save. 
and test again. Okay, now we have here five items in the cart. Let's close our app and open it again. Now it's still six. Let's make some changes here. For example, let's make this one and this one. Let's remove this chicken and remove KFC and remove mini dish. Now we have three items, French fries, pizza, kebab. Okay, if we close our app and open it again, we still have three items and those are french fries, pizza, kebab. Great, isn't that? But if you notice here, we have here an issue. Look, when we close our app and open it again, we have here an error called an unserializable value was detected. How to solve this problem? After I have searched about this issue, I have found a stack overflow question with a great answer that solves our issue, okay? So now, our this link in description, you can find it, don't worry. Now to solve this problem, just import those constants uh, inside our store, our Redux persist, just import them here. Flash pose persist, those constants. And go down and copy this middleware. So let's copy it and go to our code and just paste it here like that. Now let's format our code and press save. Now error should be gone. If we close our app and open it again, the error is gone. We can add whatever we want. We can persist our state and we don't lose our state. We don't lose our cart and we got no errors. I hope this lesson was easy to you. Please don't forget the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.